Hi, I'm Sharon and I'm from Indonesia and I've been here for a month and two weeks so I'm going to tell you a bit about how my high school life back in Indonesia. I really like my high school life because you know typical high school life hanging out with my friends and then literally doing everything together but as you all know that high school won't be last forever so my dad asked me whether I want to continue my study in the United States or in the Indonesia. So I was thinking like, why didn't I try to move to a new country? So I told them I will move to the US and they agreed with me and my dad started to prepare all the documents that will be needed in here and making visa and I took the test that in English and something like that. And so my dad booked the ticket airlines on July 25th, but before that, the day before my flight at night, my friends came to my house to come to kind of surprise me but I didn't feel surprised because it's already midnight and they came and they brought something that I could be memorize it for me. But yeah, I guess that's it. And um, they stayed until one in the morning and at the afternoon I have flight and I fight with my mom, my dad and my sister. So when I when we arrive at the airport I see a bunch of people look familiar to me and when I get closer to them and they get closer to me, I saw my friends that came the last night. So I was running to them and nearly jumped on them. Like I was literally so happy. But it took only 30 minutes to talk with them and we, after that, we giving each other a hug and saying our goodbyes. Because I have to do the check-in and the airport stuff. And then moving forward, when I came to the US in the legs, I was really excited and full of joy. Like I don't know why because Maybe I will going to start a new experience in here and my family stay in here for about two weeks and then for the first week, at the end of the first week, I kind of feel bored and sad actually because I've got no friends in here and I've got, I've got no idea what to do in here because I'm really new in here and I feel like I want to go back to Indonesia and study there but as you all know that I can do that so and then after that my when the two weeks and my family went home and then I didn't accompany them to the airport because it was almost midnight and they took an Uber instead. So when we were giving each other hugs and saying our goodbyes suddenly my face was so hot like it's burning and I feel like I'm going to cry. But I keep saying in my mind, like, please don't cry, please don't cry. I don't want to embarrass myself in front of them, but it didn't work. So my tears start to rolling in my cheeks really hard, and I can't stop them. So, but there's nothing my family and I and I do with it. So I just ran back to my room, and my family went home to Jakarta. And for the for the following week, a full week, I was crying every time I think about my parents and then suddenly there is one day that my mom FaceTime me and that time I was crying so I just like why, why the hell did she call me in not the right time so I just reject her phone and I text her that I was in the bathroom I'm pooping and I call you later <laughs> so after that I rush to the bathroom I freshen up my face and then I go back to my room and call my mom but I don't want to let them to worry about me so I just pretend that there's nothing happened and in my mind I think like I'm going here for study and not having such a drama or something so I will finish this as soon as possible and I will back to Indonesia and live with them again so I think that's the worst day of my life being left with my family in here